The mangroves are located in the warm, tropical, and coastal regions of many countries all over the world. These forests provide shelter for many marine animals, provide breeding grounds for fish, and can even store more carbon than tropical rainforests. Additionally, the tangled roots can withstand floods and the daily rise and fall of tides. The mangrove forest is a part of the carbon cycle and plays an essential role. The carbon cycle is a system where carbon is transferred through water, earth, air, and biological life in a continuous system. Mangroves, part of the biosphere or bio biological life part of the cycle, are autotrophs, meaning they can synthesize their own organic molecules or food. To do this, they conduct a process known as photosynthesis. During this process, plants utilize carbon dioxide and water to synthesize glucose and oxygen. Using the glucose and oxygen synth synthesized through photosynthesis, mangroves conduct another process known as cellular respiration. This process gives off waste, carbon dioxide, and water, as well as glucose and energy for the plant to use. Mangroves are unique, given the fact that they store more carbon dioxide than most other plants, helping them to stave off climate change. How? Well, when dead leaves, branches, and roots, which contain carbon, fall into the soil, the carbon is returned to the earth since aquatic environments don't contain sufficient oxygen for biological matter to be broken down like it normally would. However, one third of these forests have already disappeared due to the reclamation of land for agriculture and industrial development. Furthermore, people are cutting down these valuable and beneficial forests for fuel and wood, resulting in 3.6 million hectares of lost mangroves since 1980. Two species of mangroves are specifically at risk. Brugera hainisi, located in Singapore, Malaysia, and West Papua, and Sonorasha graffiti, located on the coast of Bangladesh, the Andaman Islands, Myanmar, Northern Java, and the west coast of Malaysia. The Brugera hainisi, alternatively the Eye of the Crocodile, or as locally known, the Bakao Mata Baya, is listed as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. In fact, only about 200 known individuals of this species exist. These species are mainly threatened by coastal development and deforestation. And because of the slow growth and production of these species, it does not have enough time to recover fully. The Sonorasha graffiti is mainly found on the coast of Myanmar and Bangladesh, with the presence in the Andamans, North Java, and western coast of Malaysia. It is also known as the Sonorasha graffiti curse and is noted as critically endangered by the IUCN as a result of coastal development for shrimp farms and agriculture. But there is hope. Mangroves for the Future, an international organization supported by numerous local governments and chaired by the aforementioned IUCN as well as the United Nations Development Program, seeks to counter this threat. Their solution? They don't have one. Instead, the MFF promotes and incentivizes numerous solutions that are locally and nature-focused. Let's talk about some of the potential strengths and weaknesses of the MFF as a potential solution to mangrove deforestation. Among the MFF's strengths are the fact that it's regionally focused, allowing it to focus most of its resources on a specific region. Furthermore, as a special focus on mangroves, the MFS program has three central output objectives, promoting awareness, the empowerment of local societies, and enhancing the governance of coastal regions. Each of these output objectives has multiple specific sub-objectives under them, further focusing the MFS resources and efforts, multiplying their impact. Additionally, these goals force applicants for MFF incentives to develop sustainable solutions that benefit all parties involved. However, there are limitations to the MFF as a solution. The MFF overall does not directly implement solutions, instead focusing on promoting local solutions as well as supporting and providing incentives for local communities in the development of their own solutions. This lack of direct oversight and participation results in a patchwork, uncoordinated network of solutions that are all implemented to varying degrees of success and thoroughness. Lack of oversight can also potentially result in local corruption, misappropriation or mismanagement of MFF funds, and potential threats to biodiversity in the form of illegal poaching. Overall, the MFF is an effective solution to mangrove deforestation in Southeast Asia. Despite potential problems that could arise from lack of direct oversight, the sustainable and locally focused approach that MFF utilizes results in effective but also sustainable solutions that benefit not just mangroves like Sonarasha graffiti or the Eye of the Crocodile, but all parties involved. 
Thus, by protecting mangrove forests, habitats of incredible biodiversity, the MFF ensures that our generation will leave the future a world equally or more diverse than it is now.